Are you thinking about moving to the Kansas City area? Or are you thinking about moving within the Kansas City area and are just deciding where to live? Well, you've come to the right place today because I'm gonna give you a quick comparison of four of the most popular suburbs to live in on the Kansas side of Kansas City. We're gonna look at Leewood, Prairie Village, Overland Park, and Olathe. I'm gonna share with you their overall rankings according to niche.com, the median home price according to redfin.com, their school rankings according to niche.com, and their crime and safety ratings according to bestplaces.net. And if you hang around to the end, I'm gonna summarize all of this information that I've thrown at you today so that you can make an informed, an informed decision about where to live in Kansas City. And we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Kansas City or any of its suburbs, then hit the subscribe button below and tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Kansas City. Hi, my name is Cheryl McCormick and I'm with the Rob Ellerman team at Reese Nichols Real Estate. I get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking for advice and help on making their move to Kansas City or within the Kansas City area. And I absolutely love helping people. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All of the information is in the description below so that I can help you make your move to Kansas City or within the Kansas City area, a smooth and enjoyable one. So as I mentioned today, I'm gonna to compare statistics about four of the most popular suburbs on the Kansas side of Kansas City so that you can decide which suburb may be right for you. I'm hoping that Putting all of this information in one spot is just going to help you compare the four areas so that you can decide if one of those areas might be right for you. So first, I'm going to start with Leewood, Kansas. Leewood is truly a great place to live. When compiling my information for all of the four suburbs, I looked at three rankings on niche.com. First, the overall ranking of the city how it ranks in the best suburb to live in Kansas, and how it ranks in the best suburbs to raise a family in Kansas. Well, Leewood ranks extremely high in all three with an overall grade of A+. It's the number three best suburb to live in in the state of Kansas and the number one best suburb to raise a family in Kansas. That's pretty incredible but it does come at a price. The median home price as of January, 2023, according to redfin.com was $655,000. Whoa, that's the highest of all of our four Kansas suburbs. But it also has one of the lowest crime rates according to bestplaces.net with violent crimes at 8.2 per 100 and property crime at 20.4 per 100. Now let's talk about schools. There are two public school districts that serve Leewood. The Shawnee Mission School District serves the northern side of Leewood, and niche.com gives Shawnee Mission an overall ranking of A with a ranking of the number six best school districts in Kansas. The southern side of Leewood is served by the Blue Valley School District, which is the number one highest ranking school districts in the entire state of Kansas, and niche.com gives Blue Valley Schools an overall rating of A+. Next, let's talk about Prairie Village, Kansas, which was 2022's most popular city in the entire United States. As you would probably expect from that ranking, Prairie Village also ranks extremely high as one of our suburbs with an overall rating of A+, according to niche.com. It's the number one best suburb to live in Kansas and the number four best suburb to raise a family in Kansas. But it's the second most pricey suburb with a median home price of $509,000 according to Redfin. But it also has one of the lowest crime rates with violent crimes at 6.9 per 1,000, which is even lower than Leewood and property crime at 21.7 per, one, per 100. Prairie Village is served by the Shawnee Mission School District, where, as I said, when I was talking about Leewood, 
Um, Niche.com gives it an overall ranking of A with a ranking of the number six best school districts in Kansas. So now let's move on and let's talk about the largest suburb in Kansas City on the Kansas side, which is Overland Park, Kansas. Overland Park also ranks extremely high according to Niche.com with an overall grade of A+. It's the number three best suburb to live in Kansas, right behind Prairie Village and Leewood, and it's also the number three best suburb to raise a family in Kansas. It's also a little bit more affordable than Leewood and Prairie Village with a median home price of $414,000 according to Redfin. But surprisingly, at least I was very surprised when I was researching this, Overland Park has one of the highest crime rates of the suburbs that we're looking at today with violent crimes at 16.3 per 100 and property crime rate at 27.2 per 100. Now, it's high for the suburbs we're looking at, but even though these crime rates are some of the highest that we're looking at today, the rates are still considerably lower than the national average of 22.7 out of 100 violent crimes and 35.4 out of 100 property crimes. So even though it's higher than say Leewood and Prairie Village, it's still a very safe city to live in. Um, let's talk about the schools in Overland Park. It's served by the same two public school districts that serve Leewood, Blue Valley on the southern side of Overland Park and Shawnee Mission on the north side. And as I said previously, Niche.com ranks the Blue Valley School District the number one highest ranking school district in Kansas with an overall rating of A+. And Shawnee Mission schools have an overall ranking of A, and they're ranked the number six best school district in Kansas. Now let's move on and take a look at Olathe, Kansas. Like its previous counterparts, Niche.com also gives Olathe an overall rating of A+. It ranks a little lower as the number nine best suburb to live in Kansas and the number eight best suburb to raise a family in Kansas. But Olathe is one of the more affordable Kansas City suburbs with a median home price of $398,000, according to Redfin. When it comes to safety, Olathe is still very safe. It ranks in the middle of the four suburbs we're looking at today with violent crimes at 10.2 per 100 and property crime rates at 24.5 per 100. The schools in Olathe are primarily served by the Olathe School District, which Niche.com gives a grade of A and ranks it as the number three best school district in Kansas. A very small portion of Olathe is served by the number one ranking Blue Valley School District, which serves the very far eastern portion of Olathe and also um, if you go to the far western portion of Olathe, um, the DeSoto School District serves that portion of Olathe. Um, DeSoto schools have an overall ranking of A with a ranking as the number eight best school districts in Kansas. So we've taken a look at four of the largest and most popular Kansas City suburbs today. And so let's kind of just summarize everything and so you can make a good comparison of how they rank against each other. They're all really great places to live. Niche.com gives Leewood, Prairie Village, Overland Park, and Olathe all overall rankings of A+. When it looks at livability factors, so you really can't go wrong with any of those suburbs. Prairie Village ranks the number one best suburb to live in Kansas, followed by Leewood at number two, Overland Park at number three, and Olathe at number nine. Now, if you're looking at affordability, it's going to cost you more to live in Leewood and Prairie Village, followed by Overland Park, and then Olathe is going to be the most affordable. All four suburbs have highly rated public schools, with overall grades of A or A+, plus according to Niche.com, with the Blue Valley schools ranked the highest in the entire state of Kansas at number one. You can attend Blue Valley schools in Leewood, Overland Park, and a small sliver of Olathe. 
but Olathe schools still rank very high as the number three best school districts in Kansas, as does the Shawnee Mission School District at number six and the DeSoto School District at number eight. If we're comparing crime rates, all four suburbs are very safe with crime rankings below the national average. But of the four, Leewood and Prairie Village had the lowest crime rates, followed by Olathe and then Overland Park. I hope that this has given you some valuable information that will help you decide which Kansas City suburb may be right for you. My next video next week will summarize four more Kansas City suburbs that may fit your needs, so be sure to come back and check it out. If you found this information valuable, please like my video and leave a comment. That really helps me out. And if you want to learn more about Kansas City suburbs, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. And remember, whether you're planning to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Everything can be found in the description below so that I can help you make your move to Kansas City or within the Kansas City area, a smooth and enjoyable one. So until next time, guys, I'll be seeing you around town.